A year has passed since Cuba and the United States formally resumed their diplomatic relations after more than 50 years of amity and political confrontation. In the last 12 months, both nations started a historical rapprochement towards normalization, which was marked by groundbreaking cooperation agreements, steady political talks on thorny issues, and a significant visit to Havana of U.S. President Barack Obama in March. The new scenario has led to an intense agenda of high-level meetings and over 10 cooperation agreements in air aviation, environmental protection, maritime security, agriculture, and health, among others. Un proceso que ha marchado relativamente bien, que ha marchado a partir de, de incluso yo creo que en algunos renglones mucho más rápido de lo que se podía prever en, en, en aquel momento y que se han creado las bases para que sea difícilmente reversible por parte de cualquiera que eh, gane las elecciones norteamericanas de noviembre. Havana's demand for a complete lifting of the economic and financial blockade is still pending a major roadblock for the full normalization of the bilateral ties. Repeatedly, President Obama had said that the embargo must be lifted by Congress, as his executive powers are limited and is now a legislative act. El bloqueo como concepto de política y como ley que rige la política eh, eh, norteamericana hacia Cuba es una anomalía absoluta, no solamente en las relaciones bilaterales, en la propia conducción de la política exterior norteamericana. Another bristly issue has been the territory occupied by the United States as the Guantanamo naval base in eastern Cuba, a demand Havana is unwilling to give up, but consistently stated by Washington as not to be negotiated. Regarding the upcoming presidential elections in the United States, Havana must be prepared for any scenario. However, no matter who wins, the normalization process seems to get continued on an irreversible way. Si Estados Unidos cambió su política hacia Cuba, es como dice perfectamente Obama, porque la vieja política había fracasado. Y la vieja política fracasó porque las variables que la hacían posible dejaron de existir. Por lo tanto, reconstruir la vieja política va a ser difícil para cualquiera que asuma la presidencia de los Estados Unidos.